for joining me. Tonight we're gonna talk about motivation because it's something that we all want more of. We have something that sets our heart on fire, something that matters so deeply to our souls that the more motivation we feel that we can have, we can achieve that goal faster and have it for our life. So we're gonna dive deep and where better to start than looking up what motivation means so that we all are on the same page. And I wrote it down here so it's exactly as I saw it on the internet from Merriam-Webster. It is the condition of being motivated. That's what it said when I looked at motivation. Well, that really didn't debunk the motivate part. So then I clicked on motivated and that is a motivating force. Okay, we're getting a little bit more here. A force, stimulus, or influence. Something that drives us, this influence, this trigger that makes our heart think or capture our heart's attention. Like, oh, like I want that or I want to go get that, our heart or our mind. And then even going further, it's to provide with a motive and a motive is a need or desire that causes a person to act. There we go. Motivation is the need or desire for us as a person to act. This is probably something that time and time again, you have revisited the same occurring thought or you've taken some steps to going after it and then you may have found that it was harder than what you anticipated. The key is to make sure that you understand why you want to achieve that goal and why you want this dream. Because you're gonna have to visit that time and time again when things get hard. It doesn't matter what everyone else says, this matters to you, so it's worth going after and having the motivation to do it, you know? You might not even feel that you're capable just yet, but that's why we're here tonight. I want you to have the motivation to know that taking the step today or tomorrow and just going somewhere from not doing anything at all, that is the best thing that we can do to get our dreams, to bring them into our life by just not doing anything, which is the opposite of motivation, we're watching other people have the dreams that we want and they put in the hard work to receive them. So think about first what our mindset needs to be going forward and being consistent and not giving up. And that leads me into my next point. Don't set goals with a frame of time that causes frustration. So I am totally guilty of this and I can be an eager beaver, which is good. We want to be eager beavers, but we also want to have realistic goals, like a realistic time frame of when we want to accomplish the dream. And while having time frames is awesome because it pushes productivity, we also need to be okay and flexible with adjusting the timeline. And what I mean by that is if along the way we start going, like we start doing whatever it is that we need to do tomorrow or like this coming week and we hit a roadblock and we realize that our first whatever milestone that we're trying to reach is not going to happen when we really wanted it to happen, then the flexibility needs to come in that we don't just quit altogether. That is the last thing that I want anyone to do. While I want to say that it definitely doesn't, I know it definitely happens to people and it breaks my heart to think that it's not that we can't do it. So it's not that we can't achieve the goal. And sometimes I think in our minds, we can easily sum it up to like, Oh, just can't do it. I'm just not that person or I'm just not good enough. That is just not true. We are already doing more than what we already were yesterday, taking those steps towards the goal. So we just need to keep rolling with it and reframe that time when we want to get this completed and want to get it finished. We are making traction and with enough consistency, some of those days are going to hit and we're going to take off running and then we're going to come and we'll slow down a little bit and reevaluate, but then we'll have these breakthroughs and we just have to keep making it and see the breakthroughs. My third point, we need to celebrate along the way. So also guilty of this is why this matters so much to me and I'm teaching myself along the way. But if we aren't celebrating along the way and we're just like, oh, we're like not successful until we get there, that is not the mindset that we want to have. We want to see the itty bitty little pieces of growth that we've had, like do little check-ins. So maybe that's every week or every other week. If it's a fitness goal, I encourage you to take photos from the very beginning. Even I know what that feels like to not being comfortable taking photos of yourself. You don't even have to smile, don't even put your face in it. But my goodness, 
change happens so quickly just I mean for anything but even for your body the moment you start exercising and in photos I swear that was the biggest motivation to help me build a habit and just exercising and being um, active almost every day so track the progress in some way that really helps you. I'm actually gonna probably come up with a list or maybe a video on different ways that you can track progress. That would be a really great thing to link in here. Also, treat yourself. So it could be anything that's gonna speak to your heart too knowing what matters to you. you know, that might be like treat yourself like you've been working so hard towards your goals and you just want to go out to eat to celebrate have a glass of wine whatever it is that makes you feel energized celebrate that and you know share that time those experiences with somebody else tell them along the way how you've gotten better at whatever it is or you've gotten closer to your goal and those people if they're the right people who you know love you and care for you they're gonna care about your goals and your dreams and they're going to be so excited for you and push you to even keep going here's a piece of encouragement so we're on to like the fourth point here is that once you get started it's really hard to quit when you know where you've come from and that's what's so important why it's so important to check your progress along the way in small increments because you reflect and realize where you've come from so if last year I knew that I was two months into exercising three times and four times a week and I could see in my photos that my body was changing, I knew that if I didn't keep up with that, then I was gonna go backwards. And I wasn't ready to go backwards. I don't wanna go backwards. I know that I want a strong, healthy body for my future and for my life. So it makes it harder once you get started and keep that traction going. Remember all of the hard work and sweat and tears that it, that would be for nothing if you just quit. So keep up, keep going, you can do this. It probably goes without saying, and this is my fifth point, is that anything that our soul is set on fire for is going to be hard work. Or everybody would have that goal or dream already in their life it wouldn't you wouldn't be here i wouldn't be talking about motivation my goodness there's some so many things that uh, i have started and then the fear and those things that i told myself prior like i didn't have my mind already mentally strong to know that i'm gonna have to overcome these things was like oh yeah like, you're not good enough see it didn't work out and that's not even true it's just an obstacle in the road that i need to know beforehand that I'm prepared for this, that I knew was gonna happen, and that these are the moments that are pivotal, and I could either quit, or I could keep going, and be resourceful, and be a problem solver, and use that information as an arsenal of tools for the future where I'm gonna be more of an expert, I'm gonna be able to help somebody else even more so than what I already can do now, because it's a learning process. So with that, we have to have our mental game ready and know that we're gonna have failures sometimes and setbacks and those frustrations we already talked about. And in knowing that, like when you go camping, you're already prepared. You know that this this could happen. You know, you know that you're gonna need food and you know you're gonna need a tent. You know it could rain. You know, depending on where you're camping, there could be animals that could get into your coolers of food so you bring the rope and you bring the tarps to make sure that you don't get all soaking wet and your food doesn't get, get eaten out of which is a lesson learned hard for Matt and I. We had raccoons that ate all of our food <laughs> after the first time we camped but um, in saying that these things just like our goals rather than camping we just learn along the way and once we are already prepared for that and know that as soon as we set out on this journey to go after what we want these moments are gonna come up by the way just happened because I was talking for a whole nother 10 or so minutes and finished the video and told y'all goodbye and then it wasn't there I actually bought my watch and turned all the recording so even I had to just reframe my mind to be like okay here's an obstacle and I got to keep going and it was not easy to get started I was like okay I still have something to share with you and that is why I'm here because this matters so much to me, which leads into my final point of being flexible again with the time schedule, but in a different way in our mind is going to be so important when we already have our mindset right, knowing that we're going to come up to these things that are challenges 
and we choose to keep going and be resourceful and jump over them or go around them or use them to our advantage, we become stronger. We're like building this muscle in our brain that setbacks and failures don't even mean that anymore. It's just an opportunity to grow and to learn and to be better humans because of it. We have to have the motivation and know that it's worth it. Revisit your why. Why is it important to you? You uh, need to remember to celebrate the small milestones rather than just the big ones and celebrate that knowing that you are capable, that you are going to be able to learn and be resourceful and problem solve, that you're gonna find people along the way who are gonna love on you for that and that you're gonna be finding that you're a stronger person than you realize. Sometimes we have to get our feet going before our heart follows with it and before our mind believes that we're capable. But just don't give up, you can do this. You don't need permission and if you're waiting for someone to tell you that, let me just go ahead and tell you, go for it, do it, start tomorrow. It doesn't even matter if you have a full plan, just go for it. And I hope that this has motivated you. I hope that this has made you feel inspired, that you're excited to get on with whatever you want to achieve and bring into your life. And please let me know. I wanna know what your heart does desire and what you're gonna do to make steps towards it. So please let me know in the comments below. I would love to be your personal cheerleader and encourager. So. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope you feel motivated and inspired, and I thank you for joining me. If this has made an impact on you tonight, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Well, we finished the run. <laughs> we, did, we signed up in January. We can't believe it's already April and we kept up with the pace that we wanted but most importantly we did something we never thought we'd do and if there's something out there that you don't think that you've ever done or you want to do it please don't put yourself in a box and put those barriers on yourself because it feels good doesn't it morgan it feels so good and if you think you can't do it shame will motivate you <laughs> or morgan <laughs> honestly i couldn't have done this without my friend so find yourself your friend your tribe that motivates you and it feels really good when you set a goal and you achieve it so don't give up bye